Hi, and welcome to this B1 UP Tips and Tricks session. Today we will look into B1 search and how you add your own searches. So let's jump into business one. And I have my search here, either here if, when you're running our dashboards, or it will be below the main menu if you are running without them. So I have a search and I want to search for a serial number. And if I do that in our system, it will not give any results because out of the box, we don't have anything that search for serial numbers. I'm choosing serial numbers here, but it could also have been another add-on that had some data that you wanted to search for, or for example, recurring invoices from b one up or whatever you want to search for. As long as you can write some SQL, it's possible to do. So let me show you how I did this. So on search, you can right click and go to the search configuration. And in here, there are the different searches. You can search for activities, documents, and so on. And you can, can go in and set who can search for what and so forth. But you can also make your own. And I did that in terms of serial numbers. And when you make a custom, you have the option to write the SQL and what should happen. So what I've done here is I've written a simple search term for the serial numbers here. And I have put in the special keyword search term. Because that's what you do. Again, you can press F1 in order to get help for all this. Then I give the result string, meaning what should be shown as the result. I want to show the number of the serial and then the item code and the item name next to it. I then want to have a universal function that gets the serial number as the parameter back. So it needs to be one of the, the fields you get back. And I have a simple macro that simply opens the serial number screen. So that's this one. So the number of that in the lower left corner of menu items is, as you can see, 12034. That's the reason I activate that. Then I set the value of the serial number here, which is item 54, as you can see in the lower left corner. And I set that to a special keyword that is mentioned over here. Get the string uh, that you can use in the universal function, and then I click the search button. So if I do that, turn on uh, this search and search again for my serial number. I now get a serial number result showing the serial number, the item code and the item name. And I can, when I press the golden arrow, launch the universal function that goes directly to the serial number. Again, you can do this for any kind of uh, data, as long as you can write the SQL, and as long as you can write the macro that opens up the screen if you need to have that happen as well. So that's all. Thank you for attending, and I hope it was beneficial.